Hey guys, welcome to Cincy Slots YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the Carrera App Connect and uh, teach you how all the features work. The app works with uh, certain Androids and iPhones and iPads. Today we're using an iPad Air 2. This is the um, app screen where you find all the apps. And as you can see in the top center we have the Carrera Race app. You want to make sure that you download the latest version so you can get everything up to date and working properly. When you head out to your favorite slot car shop like Cincy Slots, this is what you're after, the Carrera Race App Connect. It is Bluetooth and when you download the latest version to your smart device, you'll need that for the next step. Okay, now you have your App Connect, the latest version downloaded. Now let's get started. On the front of your CU, you'll see a port on the left. It's probably going to be labeled PC Unit. Plug your App Connect in there and turn on your CU. The opening screen should be this. If it's not, click the gears on the top left hand corner and it'll bring up this screen. Under Version, it'll give you the option to update. So you want to do that and once it gets to 100% you are ready to go. Now you want to under status click connect and that will connect the CU with your app connect so we can go on to the next steps. Okay the first section we're going to cover is the setting up the race series. You can either do a quick start and get racing now or you can set up a new series which is what we're going to do and I'll show you how that goes here. In the lower right hand corner you see new race series. You'll want to click on that and it'll take you to the next screen. So now it says new race series in the top right hand corner. Click on next. Then you'll name your series. We just happen to call ours Cincy Slots Piston Cup and after that press next and it'll take you to the following screen and then the third section will be to pick a photo or an avatar um, on this there's a, a German word next to the camera I'm not sure what it says I'll find out but click on that it'll take you to your um, photo library you pick the one you want you crop it you'll hit next and that'll get you through the setting up the race series. Now we're moving on to the driver section. In this section, you'll want to add a new driver, which is in the lower right hand corner. And that will take you to the new driver screen. Once you're on that screen, you'll type in the name of the driver. Our driver that we're adding, we're going to call him Thomas. And once we type in Thomas's name, on the upper right hand corner, we hit next, and that'll take you to the same avatar screen that we had before. So you'll click the word next to the camera, it'll take you to your photo library. And Thomas wanted to have these cars as his avatar. Then you hit next, crop the image the way you like it, and hit done. And here we have all four drivers added to our driver list. And hit next, and there you go. Okay, and now the last section of the race series drivers and circuits. We're going to create a new circuit. In the lower right hand corner, click New Circuit. That'll bring you to the next screen. Then once you go to there, you'll hit it again and then you'll name your circuit. We're going to name ours Cincy Slot Speedway and then you hit next. It'll bring you up to the avatar screen. You'll click the word next to the camera. We used a picture of one of our friends tracks as ours. You hit done and there you go. It'll give you a list of all the circuits listed in your program. All right, now it's time to set up a race. So you go back to race series, 
you click on Quick Start or one of your other series. We're going to click on the Cincy Slots Piston Cup. From there, you want to hit the plus sign on the top right of your screen. That will bring you to the new competition screen. Once there, press next in the upper right hand corner. Select the circuit that you want. We're going to choose Cincy Slot Speedway. Now you want to choose the drivers participating in the race. We've chosen Cincy Slots and Thomas. Select both of them and hit done. And it'll take you to the race competition screen. You'll see it says training, qualifying, and race. You can do all three of these, one of these, it's really up to you. Now press the control unit just to make sure that your race app connect and the control unit are both in sync with one another. And we're off to the race start screen. Okay, now that we have our racer selected, on the get ready screen at the bottom you'll see speed, brake, and fuel. These are all adjustable per driver. So right now it shows 100%. You can click it to 50% if you have a young child and don't want them to crash a lot. And then once you select it, you can pick what driver gets that feature. Either all of them or you can set them individually. And the brake is the same way. You can add half brake, a lot of brake, no brake, whatever is to your comfort level. So when you've set the brake to what you want, then you go to the racer screen and select the racer that gets that setting. Okay, now we're actually ready to start a race. So you set down your iPad, press start on the CU twice, and you'll see the lights count down across the top, those red circles. And then it keeps track of each lap time, your fastest lap, and overall race time. And now the race is concluded, you can click the square with the arrow at the top right. This allows you to send a message or an email or save the, the race file for future reference. Or you can hit the round arrow and restart the race and do it all over again. Thank you for watching our video today. I hope it was helpful. If so, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like thumbs up in the bottom here. If you have any questions, feel free to post them to this video. You can purchase the Carrera Race app at our website, cincyslots.com. You can also join us on Facebook under Cincy Slots.